So I will be doing the functional group update. My time says five o'clock. Um, so I'm starting right now and I will start with the screen sharing. Here we go. So um, welcome to this time's front end functional group update. Um, I'm doing it together today with Philippe, uh, and it's a combined group update for the front-end AC and DCT. Um, what did we accomplish? Uh, we accomplished uh, releasing 9.2. Um, I'm quite sure that everyone is already aware of all the uh, big features that we released with the multiple assignees, the auto-refresh especially, um, again, real-time posting of comments, which uh, was already greatly enhanced uh, by Kushal in the meantime, so that we get more and more features in there. Um, we have done a lot of optimizations in the search bar, so that this feels way uh, easier to use and with the coloring and um, etc. So, what are our concerns over the last weeks and uh, what we uh, saw in this release was basically a problem with the turnover, turnover of front-end changes. So with the last release, especially upcoming to the uh, cutoff date, there was a lot of uh, the master was unstable, the tests took very long, a lot of tests were failing, simply just took failing, etc. So even for small changes uh, that just needed uh, some textual changes or some small UX changes, everyone needed to run after their pipelines and um, uh, run after the tests, etc. So what we want to improve in the future, and we will come uh, to this point later, is simply that you reduce the time and, and uh, have better and uh, more efficient pipelines on that. The other thing that we will um, see in the future, especially if now with the split of the two teams, is that we need uh, unified planning and deliverables, and I think there is already um, a lot of discussions going on between project managers and also in the channels. So this is especially important as the front end ACDC team have focuses from their areas. But on the other hand, we are sharing a lot of deliverables uh, in between. So if we see that someone uh, that the deliverable is not uh, finishable, we can uh, pass it over to the other team if it has available resources, what already happened in this release cycle. So we need to, uh, it's simply about that we have the same format of planning and deliverables all, over all the different uh, teams. Um, the other big thing is that we saw, especially with, with the last release, was simply that uh, we need to improve the merge request size and uh, delivery. So what happened is simply that it's like a big harbor and on the seventh, all the big ships are coming in. And um, so that we make this in smaller chunks and that this uh, is way better digestible over uh, the reviews and also over testing and also uh, over merges between CE and EE. So what are our plans for the next release? Um, we will be finishing uh, our work on 9.3 tomorrow. Um, the AC team will be delivering uh, a lot of nice uh, UX uh, and uh, functional group dashboard improvements. We will have responsive tables over different areas. Uh, we are adding two more uh, Prometheus metrics uh, functions. We are improving greatly uh, the Jira settings. So you have uh, now the capability of testing your Jira settings way better. And this is a way better uh, uh, UX path. So we are doing, we have done uh, improvements with UX on the repo settings. So they are much better readable. Uh, we have inline issue editing. Uh, from the backend side, the, uh, for the enterprise version, we will deliver the server audit logs and there are a lot of more search bar optimizations and features like having the pictures and avatars and the names of the users in there, which feels much nicer if you're doing searches and we do this a lot. Um, for the DC team, I'm handing over to Philippa because she can explain it way better than me what the DC team delivered this time. Thank you, Tim. Uh, so for the DC team, we are going to ship code climate uh, metrics in EE. You'll be able to see it on the merge request widgets. You will also be able to see cross projects in the pipeline graph also on EE. And on CE, you'll be able to see real time uh, environment stability should be uh, updated real time. Also some UX improvements and uh, some parts of the job details page will be real-time as well as some parts of the pipelines uh, show page. 
We also have a CONCDEV index uh, that allows you to compare um, two instances of GitLab. And it's also possible to search for multiple assignees and start a thread from a not threaded comment on merge requests. And back to you, Tim. Thank you. Um, what are our plans for 9.4 and improving a little bit our uh, pipeline is basically to have a more balanced planning between all the different things that we currently do. So uh, our idea is to have a balance between the deliverables uh, that we uh, are doing with the product managers uh, that we, on the other hand, also schedule and that everyone is aware of these changes that we are scheduling also every release cycle getting rid of technical debt, making efficiency improvements. By example, this time we want to replace Phantom JS with Chrome, so that simply our, all our pipelines are running are way more stable and the tests are uh, better in that area. Um, what we also want to do is performance improvements that starts uh, with direct performance improvements by uh, replacing and upgrading uh, bigger libraries perhaps with jQuery uh, and ending with indirect performance improvements, so simply that pages feel more uh, faster and that they are not, uh, that you have the feeling that something is loading, et cetera, so that you are not waiting for a lot. Um, also, this is a big point, especially in this release, we want to uh, focus a lot on UX improvements and polishing, uh, especially based on all the comments that we got through Hacker News. We are direct in very direct contact with the UX team to improve this a lot during this release um, to get uh, better quality and polishing on all the different areas. Um, we will also take a look if, uh, if it makes sense to do a time box area fixing. What is meant by this is simply that a person can totally focus on a specific function or feature in our product and uh, simply fixes all the issues in that area. Um, and on top of that, that we also uh, think about the future, that we work on POCs uh, where we see, okay, this can make sense also with the product managers and future advancements. And balance out all of these different topics over all our resources and have a better planning uh, so that everyone is also aware of stuff that we are doing behind the scenes. Um, also, the, what we want to focus on is that we do in the future more uh, API-based uh, single-page applications, also looking at GraphQL, and that we will do some POCs in that area so that we have perhaps more efficient pipelines because we have uh, very detailed applications and that we are um, more independent on our tests and have a straighter pipeline for that. Um, another big thing that is upcoming also for the 9.4 release is feature flags. So uh, something that we want to introduce to test out the UX navigation concept, which is, by the way, very, uh, very, very nice in my opinion, um, but to not go for the full thing so that everyone can uh, opt in on these features, we will have these feature flags and uh, implement these UX designs as soon as they are ready. Uh, another big topic that we are doing in this release is internationalization. So we will do some knowledge sharing so that we spread out uh, the knowledge how to do internationalization so everyone can do it. And it's like more of a swarm thing and that we especially do it on new features because then we can uh, go back much faster with internationalization. And as, as we've seen in the last weeks, the, the community is very, very eager on this topic and is really helping out and wants to translate it in every uh, language. So see, we, we simply need to make this possible. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the front-end team for uh, doing a great release in the last time. I'm really looking forward to the next release and it's really awesome to work with everyone as this is especially my first functional upgrade uh, update and yeah. That's it. Thank you for listening. And I'm coming to the questions. Hey, uh, Tim, thanks for the update. Um, regarding feature flags, that's a, a functionality that we also want to um, offer as part of GitLab for patients you deploy with GitLab. Are you open to discussing that with Mark Punsek to see if there's something we can do there? Uh, yeah, what we did is uh, as soon as we came up with the idea in the, in the menu implementation, we came up with the idea to not roll this out fully on gitlab.com. 
but to do this uh, step by step. So we reached out to different people and uh, the Gitterly team is already working on, on some things in there. Uh, so we will take and reuse what they are doing and will closely integrate with them. So to have the same feature flex and being able to turn off these things. For the detailed things, how this is going to work, please, we need, you need to ask the Gitterly team because we're just trying to reuse what they already have. What we will need is simply feature flex, so based on a uh, user base and also on a group base that someone can turn on and off stuff. Uh, and we have this on all code paths so that we have it in, uh, in Rails, that we have it in the templates, that we have it in JavaScript, that we have it on the API. And based on this, we can do different stuff. Um, we had huge discussions on this. In my opinion, we should limit this just to really big things that we don't want to roll out heavily on every, all the customers. I hope this answered your question. Yep, yeah, we'll, we'll continue the conversation in the issue. Thanks. Any other questions? No, that was fast, great. Thank you very much and have a nice day and see you in the team call. Bye, take care.